gonna bring back the dinosaurs, and I'm gonna make them gay. Well, hello there, fellow traveler in the Swedish woods. How are you doing today? Oh, it's very nice to meet you too. I am just out here going to do a little casual satanic ritual. Would you like to come along with me? So glad to hear it. Let's go! I think everyone here knows and loves Mango, the beautiful land shark creature that we managed to summon via satanic rituals last year. This is so exciting. Oh my god, it is here! The wholesome, cute demon! Well, I found a copy of Mango on AliExpress that we called Mongo. Oh, Walmart! <laughs> Why is this on the Walmart website? Walmart, what did you do to Mango? <laughs> Why is it cross-eyed? Oh my god, they're multiplying. From China to Sweden with e-package. <gasps> Look at this. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Booyah, baby! And it just arrived and looks like this. Um, it's a little derpy, it's a little cross-eyed, the stuffing is all messed up, the fin isn't that great. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna sacrifice Mongo um, to, to the devil in, in hopes that it will kind of re-roll a better demon. Think of it as re-rolling a loot box, essentially. Is your Oreo cookie satanic? Let's find out together, shall we? So here is an Oreo cookie. It's the Freemason symbol. Satanic cross is right there in the Oreo zodiac wheel. Oreo cookie double cross with Oreo symbol. This indicates a recycle, meaning we live in Satan's world for eternity. Look at this in infinity snake Freemason logo. It's 12x, it's 12 season, which means that the Oreo is satanic all year round. You can't even eat it on Christmas. Please, Facebook, never change. I love this like pattern finding in like the, the most mundane things ever. <laughs> oh no thank you, I won't have a cookie with my coffee like, oh are you on a diet? No no no, Oreos are just satanic. Ever pray demons. <laughs> Wait, so pride month is demon? <laughs> but it's just a goat boy in thigh eyes. <laughs> Blasphemy, a ticket to hell has never been funnier. Why, MCA, you got me feeling like, oh yes. <laughs> I'm so bummed out they removed the parts about pop culture in the scriptures. Gosh darn it. Meow, what is this? A woo, a power wonk, a gram. Okay, I'm sorry, but take this seriously. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> you want to know what's ironic about this? I actually paid more for this than original mango because like the import taxes and shipping and everything made this cost like 50 bucks. <laughs> it's so sad, man. It's so sad. Do you like butterflies? I think everyone loves butterflies, right? They're nice little colorful creatures. Look at this thing right here. Oh, have you ever seen an antichrist butterfly? I want this so bad as a pet on a tiny leash so I can walk it like this with a string. Hot dogs with threatening auras. Okay. This lady gave me her food order. I repeated it back and told her, that comes to 666. She said, oh no, I don't like that total. Better throw in a corn dog. Surely this woman is an inspiration. She's out here fighting off the powers of Satan with a corn dog as her weapon of choice. Christian roulette. Number one, open the Bible to a random page. Number two, follow exactly what is written. Number three, the last one to go to jail wins. <laughs> Honestly? Yeah. Think of it this way, the wall between dimensions is very much like a puppy dog. You just need to tickle it in the right space and it flips over and it's such a good boy. Now, how do we tickle this demonic puppy, you might ask? <laughs> I'm so glad that you indeed did ask multiple times. Uh, we are going to use this demonic guiding stone and it will glow the way towards this little gap between dimensions. And we'll tickle it further, tracking it by reading some satanic memes. My visit the church this morning went as expected. <laughs> oh my god. A church visit has never been as hot as uh, when you come. If Jesus can appear in breadcrumbs, then Satan you wait and you can appear in weird stains on the floor. <laughs> It seems about right. <laughs> Wait, you said you were an angel! <laughs> I lied! When she's a ten, but a satanic worshipper. Worth it. The roots of this upturned tree. <laughs> Imagine walking alone in the woods at night, and you just see the shadow of this 
in the distance. <sighs> when your demon is late again? You're sleep paralyzing other women, aren't you? I can explain, honey. <laughs> you are a horrible little creature, but you're my horrible little creature. Hold on a second, the sun disappeared, does that mean? <gasps> oh my god, the gap between the worlds is opening. This way, quickly! Oh my god, it seems to be leading us to this darker side of the forest. How fitting. Oh, yes indeed. Jesus Christ, I was protected from the class in the future, we don't have to deal with your bullshit. <laughs> this is the Bible 2.0, baby. I'm looking forward to it. First off, God doesn't hate gay people. God doesn't hate anyone. That's his whole thing. When a man dressed as Satan speaks more accurately about God than your pastor, you know something is wrong. Preach it, Satan! <laughs> I want to see that trending on Twitter. That would be beautiful. New flavor, blood of Jesus. Soft, delicious, yummy, tasty. Wow, coming Sunday, May 22. This is a whole new thing. This here is Jesus' blood. This here is Jesus' body. And this here is Jesus' slush. They will never find us in our satanic memes. First, Church of Springfield. Sunday, 11 a.m., praising murder. 11.30 a.m., blood drinking. 11.45 a.m., flesh eating. 12 p.m., give us money. Amen. Oh my god, can you imagine that cult where they drink blood and eat human flesh? Mm, couldn't be me. In hell. Satan, uh, dude, you gotta stop following me around. Me, I don't know anyone else here, I feel awkward. Why would you do this to me, Satan? Why would you send me down here if you don't want to spend time with me? This is very manipulative. I don't like this. Be the reason why a nun clutches her rosary when you walk by. Ah! <gasps> oh my god, look at that sinful creature! Darwin's theories came out about 6,000 years after creation and a pure theory. Moses, the prophets and Jesus are living evidence. The scriptures of the Bible are written by prophets and scribes with the Spirit of God. And are therefore proof of intelligent designer. God the Creator. This is Terry. He is a trilobite. He is 400 million years old. He predates your religion, your god, and all humanity. Pick up another book. I am so sad that Terry wasn't literate. I would love to read a diary from 400 million years ago. That would be so interesting. Could I get a nail for my feet too? My sandals keep falling off. <laughs> oh, jeezy boy. Being a little edgelord. The blood of Jesus protects their family against COVID-19. Amen. What are you talking? What? What, what are you suggesting we do? This is really macabre. This feels a little outdated, doesn't it? The goddess. Uh-oh. Oh yes, God is a lady and she is very angry and she will punish you because you've been a bad boy. Every child needs one. Teach the controversy. <gasps> it's a little Buffy, it's so cute, oh my god. I can't wait for the emotional support demon to be a thing. I'm gonna snuggle the crap out of it like every single day. It's gonna be my obsession in my entire life and nobody can take it away from me. Holy water may be harmful to your health, study finds. Australian scientists find 86% of holy water contains f fecal matter. I would assume that they clean it out between uses. I mean, I mean, if you just think about it, dipping babies in water, yeah, it's gonna have a lot of fecal stuff in it. Babies just spew liquids from every orifice quite consistently. But what? Jehovah's Witness. I have come to claim you. Oh, Satan, he waits and he please. You have to buy me a drink first. Sleepover to do list. Pillow fights. Summon a demon. <laughs> Wait, this is just. Tell scary stories. Listen to music. Try to pull an all nighter. Bake. Watch movie. Prank Tori. I like how it's so casual. It's just one out of like 20 to do lists. Just summon a demon. Oh, so quirky. We're one person short on this sleepover. We need a little demon. Valet Christian Church. Penis or son together. On day 1030. Eat some bread. It is my body. Drink wine. It is my blood. Anybody want mayo? I am so out of here. I feel like I should apologize for these videos. But, but also no. Heavenly Father, the humans have started doing naughties for enjoyment. They have also started screaming your name when they climax. Hmm. Not gonna lie, it does turn me on a bit. Yeah, you know what they say, God is always watching when you sacrifice yourself for humanity. But some people misinterpret your teachings and use it as excuses to be a-holes to each other. I think this goes for 
everything in the world, honestly. Humans always have uh, a need for connections, for community, for, for social things, whatever it might be. And you will always have a set number of people who use whatever this is as justification to you know, treat others poorly or justify their own biases. Um, it doesn't make it right. And it doesn't mean that something is wrong with the whole organization or movement. Because these kind of bad apples exist in anything you do. You have elitism within academia, you have it within religion, you have it within certain companies, on YouTube for God's sake. Um, it's always going to be a thing and what's important is that if you are a head figure in something like this or in a community, make sure that these people that have this sort of toxicity, this elitism and this need to project their own subjectivity on whatever greater thing they're a part of, um, make sure they don't receive that kind of power to do that much harm with it, I suppose. But humans will always be quirky, XD. Let's see now, I'm gonna Google uh, SA. Do you mean Satan? <laughs> yes. Dear Jesus, please help mommy with being a mommy. Teach your kid a spell. <laughs> Oh, it's dear Jesus. You know how I always talk about, you know, Satan being a furry and all that kind of stuff? Jesus is also furry if you really want him to. Isn't the world a beautiful place? Jesus guns, babies. Paul! <laughs> Commas <laughs> are important. It didn't take long to find messed up stuff in the Bible. Oh my god. This is worse than my book in thermodynamics from university. It's the kind of stuff you do just to like mess with the person who gets the book after you. Just mark everything, even the stuff that isn't important. And they will think it's important and they will freak out because they don't understand why it's important. Satan loves you for who you are. That is so sweet. Oh my god. Remember that you are watching. You are valid and you are okay. There will always be people in life that tell you what you're doing is wrong. And it can be with many different things. It can be with preferences, personal life, career choices, uh, anything it might be rather. At some point in life you will always have people that go against you basically no matter what you do. And it's good to figure out the balance in life where you're open to some sort of critique so you're not just, you know, blindly going off the rails. But also taking into consideration that if it's only one or two people being mean for the sake of being mean, they're probably not in the right either. Jesus would slap the shite out of you! Oh! Oh, jeezy boy! Oh my! We always hear about the Holy Bible. So what if the unholy Bible? There is dinosaurs and gays in this book. <gasps> are there also gay dinosaurs? Please tell me there are gay di- I want gay dinosaurs. Does anybody else want gay dinosaurs? Please oh, that actually looks pretty good. Hell yeah. I just need to raise this up a bit. Because I'm a tall boy. Call onto me, ministries. www.communistries.com Come on. This past review and no one saw this. Parental alert. Occult and witchcraft dominate Marvel's new Doctor Strange film, making Satanists the heroes. Oh, speaking of gay marriage. I have a story for you all. Be with family last weekend, little five-year-old cousin playing with My Little Pony toys in the living room, announces we are all invited to the wedding. Aunt asks who is getting married, Fluttershy and Applejack. Aunt says, they can't get married. Cousin is distraught. Why not? Aunt says, because girls can't marry other girls. Cousin is angry. Who says? Aunt. God says. Cousin. Then I'm going to worship Satan. <laughs> I love the complete just like 180 turn. That's beautiful. Oh, your cousin is a little, little absolute beast. What I imagine when someone tells me I have a special place in hell. Oh, yes. Well, I probably can't show that entire picture on YouTube, but it looks very appealing, uh, if I put it that way. Um, in, in, a, in a bodily, fleshy way. I was watching a show for about 10 minutes and this lady was listing off all the great things to do for fun. Then I realized it's one of those religious channels. She was reading a list of sins. <laughs> Let's read it together, shall we? Naughties, alcohol, parties, holding hands before marriage. I'm looking at you, Steve. I wonder how atheists moan during the naughties. They'd be like, ugh, evolution. Atheists are actually the only ones allowed to yell, oh God, during the naughties, because religious people shouldn't use the Lord's name in vain. <laughs> well, it would make sense in one way, because, you know, Evolution works kind of via procreation, right? So, so in one way it makes sense. Attention sinners! Hellfire awaits! Okay, let's see. BLM, Hindus, Sissus, Thieves, Muslims, Cowards, Satanists, Catholic, Murders, Demo Democrats, Sports Nuts. Sports Nuts? Football is satanic now? Transgender gangsta rappers? <laughs> Country music lovers?
<laughs> Adult fun time watchers. Homo huggers. Okay. Adulterers, Buddhists, feminists, atheists, prideful leftists, r racists. Okay, well, that's good, I guess, but what? <laughs> this is. <laughs> Damn those Satans and their country music. Pling a plong. Yee haw, got my tractor to Satan. Ah, this could be us, but you keep praying. <laughs> I am so distraught. Sure, you can pray for me and I'll dance naked in the forest for you. Yeah, why do you think we're out here today? You know, I, I'm not wearing any pants. There's a reason the camera only show my torso. Jack Filet, all next month to celebrate Gay Pride Flag Month, beginning 0601. Bring a wallet-sized picture of a child you traumatized, abused or disowned based on sexual orientation to any other location and receive a free medium waffle fry. Man, that's some, uh, that's, uh, <clears throat> that's some marketing right there, am I right? Jesus Christ. The left has gone beyond questioning men and are now questioning the will of God. Dangerous and demonic territory. I don't, I don't get this. this. This sounds like, you know, you're threatening, you know, a child with like, ooh, Santa's not gonna give you presents if you're a naughty boy. Love seeing Christians being like, I can't believe LGBTQ teens are worshipping Satan instead of our nice God who hates them. <laughs> it's a one-way street, kiddos. One-way street. Blue Eyes White Jesus, Divine Beast, a True American. Jesus was the son of God who led America to victory from the British in the Middle East. He turns water to wine and kicks commie ass. Merka, frick yeah. Missionary, have you found Jesus? Me, what? You lost him again? According to Genesis, we all come from Adam and Eve who only had three sons. Think about it. Take all the time you need. So you're saying what my cousin and I are doing is okay with the Bible? It's weird in, in like multiple layers. Just when you thought the perfect gift didn't exist. Crucify Jesus by yourself. I wonder who made this toy. Is this made by like a church organization to raise funds? Or is it made by someone else? I can't tell if this is like uh, satirical or, or very honest. <laughs> you stand before God's judgment. Before we start, God, can I just say, well done on boobas. Seriously, just, wow, 10 out of 10. How did you think of them? I would love to see the preparatory drawings. <laughs> I'd love to do the self-naughties to them. You were stewing the self-naughties when you designed them, right? Lord, bring out that sploosh stain sketchbook. I want to see the ideas that didn't make it. Hmm. Hmm. I did the boobas. That makes so much sense. Why are you removing that tumor I put in there? Jesus died for our sins. Okay, but he didn't stay dead, right? So what exactly did he sacrifice? Jesus gave up his weekend for your sins and... <laughs> are our sins really worth that little? Man, we, we have to try harder. Come on now. When you finally catch the dude that's been talking shite. Hmm, <laughs> Jesus is a cunt. <laughs> Well, my son, that is very rude of you. You deserve a good spanking. If your dog poops in our yard, it will be sacrificed to Satan. Not sure how they pull that off. The Holy Bible, signed copy. Wait, who exactly is it signed by? Is it signed by God, Jesus, Satan, whoever wrote it? It's very unclear. Hmm. I think we have found where the demonic energy is the strongest. Let's set up our sacrificial little spot and, and wait for the portal to moisten and lubricate my choice of wording is the best since it's summertime in sweden we can't really light any fire safely but hopefully placing all our stuff in a nice little pentagram will be enough for our little devilish boy oh satan can you see Lala Mongo is free so someone moved into a new place and they found this under the carpets i think someone was having a little bit of fun you know, people are always like, you know, Oh no, haunted house gonna drop the property value. It's a free friend. Hail Satan in dog. Oh, it's such a good pupper. God is love. Terms and conditions apply. One day, you will find someone who is obsessed with you. It will probably be a demon, but that's what it is. Me at 9 p.m. I'm thinking I'm gonna go to bed early tonight. Me at 2 a.m. <laughs> Excuse me, sir, have you hailed Satan today? Oh my god, those are beautiful horns. It's almost as beautiful as my goat in Raft that I named Baffy. It's such a good goat. Check out my Twitch, by the way, where I 
make friends with goats. Land shark only fans called only fins. Unfriendly reminder that the Bible does not only lay out when and how abortion should be performed, but it even gives instructions on how to make the potion to cause it. Your Christian values aren't why you're against abortion. It's purely because you're an a-hole. Have you noticed life is cruel and insensible? That's because the creator is angry and insane Sithrak the blind gibberer. When you die, Sithrak tortures you forever, whether you were good or not. I find that lack of responsibility really liberating. No matter how bad your life is, it always gets worse after. Stay alive as long as you can. Nothing you do will make Sithrath angry. Sithrak was angry already. So why not convert to Sithrak, the god who hates you unconditionally? <laughs> this is supposed to be on our fire, but today's too windy. Slam! Sithrak's gonna freak you up when you die. No worse than us, mind you. <laughs> this is true equality. God hates everyone. No matter what. Yawn! <laughs> Your mom nailed me harder than this. I was drawing a bunch of pentagrams during my break. I think I draw 150 pentagrams in total. Before a devilish looking guy broke down my door and yelled. Bam! What the frick do you want? Hello, peace. I just wanted to let you know if you don't already know that God loves you and whatever you're going through in life, I want you to know that everything gets better and that God loves you deeply. I believe in Satan. You are gonna be okay, you silly dehydrated bitch. We always knew this was a religious conflict, those with God DNA versus Viper or Satan. I swear to God, these people don't even know what DNA is. It's so wild. It's like we're all vibrations and energies. And we're also DNA. Shout out for Judas for the upcoming long weekend. Ram in the bush. Christian center. Ram it in the bush. <laughs> oh, you sweet summer child. I know you're here, Adam and Eve. You big freaking sinners. Where's my darn apple? When you wake up early and you catch her before coffee and makeup. <laughs> it's just the bay of your dreams. Homosexuality is an illness. Uh, hi, I can't come into work today, I'm gay. This was actually a protest in Sweden a few decades ago when they tried to make homosexuality classified as an illness. Everyone, well, basically protested by calling into work and saying, <coughs> I'm sorry, I got sick with a gay. <coughs> <coughs> he is summoning Satan. Or maybe he's just warming his paws because they're cold. <laughs> no, he's a cat. He is definitely summoning Satan. Abort Jesus, Planned Parenthood, the answer. Oh, these signs are a mess. That's kind of funny. I take super hot showers to practice burning in hell. Oh my god, they even have ducks in the fire. <gasps> oh my god, can I have ducks in hell? Then I'm so sold. I saw someone with a shirt saying truth plus God equals life. I hope they realized it also follows truth equals life minus God. God equals life minus truth. Seriously, do the math, people. Math is math. <laughs> These things are so silly, I swear to God. They are not sins. They are Lucifer loyalty reward points. Dyslexic Satanist. This is me. It's so me. Oh. Feeling empty in your soul. Then put a little Jesus in your hole. Um, uh huh. Jesus is our only hoe. Satan in the Bible. Rawr. Satan on Twitter, sit down, son, let's talk about your problems. That's so sweet. Satan is like a chill uncle, basically, on Twitter. It's absolutely beautiful. Christians, furries, atheist, agnostic, Satanist, r slash Satan. It's so beautiful, I love it. It's just a place to come together to have a laugh. Let's see, Hasbro Gaming, Cards Against Humanity, Ticket to Hell, Admit One. What? This is not my merch store. Fellow the click fan, fellow the click fan, fellow, fellow, fellow the click fan, fellow, fellow, fellow the click fan. <laughs> If you haven't already, check out the link in the description for a VIP ticket to hell. There is also a VIP ticket to Horny Jail, if you like, that I actually couldn't put up on YouTube, even though they link merch stores because it was too inappropriate, apparently. Um, so check it out below for your inappropriate merch today. <laughs> Jesus, I shall turn water into wine. Judas, actually, wine is 85% water, so that's only 15% miracle. This is literally the worst betrayal! All right, everyone at home, you want to figure out some hip lingo that the kids, Yayit, are using today on the interwebs. Let's take a look together, shall we? <clears throat> Lol. Lucifer, our lord. YOLO. Youth obeying Lucifer's orders. Swag. Satan's wishes are granted. Raffle. Rice, our father Lucifer. Burb. Beezlebub. Rules below. WTF. Worship. The Fallen. 
I hope you have learned something today. Hashtag educational content. All right, now Mongo, well, the time has come for us to re-roll this nice little loot box or whatever you want to call it. Oh, Mongo, I sacrifice thee until the great lord. <gasps> oh my god, it worked. It's a u -tooth. That is an amazing re-roll, if I may say so myself. Look at that beautiful, beautiful boy. Oh my god. Mwah. Absolutely beautiful. Thank you so much, u for bringing this possibility to my channel with my beautiful little memes and mungus. Oh my god, it's so cute. Look at that. And I do hope you all love it as much as I do. Look at this beautiful bean. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the very near future. Take care. Mwah.